Hi guys, in today's video I'm going to share with you all part 3 to a Caribbean garden and one of the most important things in a garden is a mango tree and I'm not sure what type of mango these are but they're really sweet. Here we have the governor plum or it's known as um, red coat, some of you call it different names but it's a really delicious sweet plum and it gets really big and red this other tree that you see here is the local trini plum it's a green plum this one gets yellow when it gets ripe um, they use it a lot to make anchar and stuff here we have a julie mango which is my favorite mango in the world i love julie mango but i'll never share julie mango i'm sorry to say because i like julie mango is the best mango in the world if you don't like julie mango then something is definitely wrong here we have a bay leaf or a cement leaf plant it's the bay rum plant it's a plant that you get bay rum from here is another banana a green banana here we have the yellow chiny coconut which is the sweetest coconut it tastes absolutely delicious these are dashing bush plants that are already in the ground. Remember I said they need a lot of water to survive. Here we have a papaya or we say popo in Trinidad. These are green, they have to get ripe and in the background you can see a coconut tree. This is fine time one version of it or one strain of it aloe vera rosemary this is a thai basil oregano we have some pudina pot marjoram or broadleaf thyme This broadleaf thyme really grows abundantly, like you can plant one piece and it just spreads. Here we have kale, so you see guys you can plant all of these American things also in Trinidad. All these American plants, here we have some grape tomatoes. And you see how lush this garden is. And all you have to do is when you get a ripe tomato is save the seeds and throw it back into the soil and cover it and it will grow. It works for any type of tomato. Here's a starlight eggplant which you can get from Yupik Farms. Here is Pak Choi. Does not look so pretty. And this leaf like is called fever grass which is great for if you're not feeling well and you're sick underground we have some butternut squash and these are already flowering you can see the flowers there so you see how easy it is to grow your own garden and it saves you money when you have to buy all of these items in the supermarket so as long as you have the space i encourage everyone to try to grow their own things here we have some arugula some more tomato plants and I'm ending off with the mangoes again. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please remember to like and share. And I will see you all again in my next video. Enjoy!